Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. And already we're on the way here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, I'm going to say the Uruguayan Cavani. His willingness to put so much effort in is why he scores so many goals. And that also translates to his defensive work. In pressing, chasing and tackling. It's all there from him. Not to disagree with that. It's the sort of situation he thrives in. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. McTominay. Manchester United have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Rashford. And here's Cavani. Cavani! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Cavani certainly could have and should have made more of that. Hoists it forward. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. Beautifully done. Now it's Messi. Over to the left. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Gets it back. Tries a shot! Goal! Barcelona! Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Barcelona. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. This is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Barcelona head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break.
Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? It's got to be the so very versatile Tom Towering <laughs> Goal! Juventus! And it's Juventus who take the lead! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no sledge. Juventus get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on Jerome Berteng Schuller Hardly anything between the sides and it's 1-0 Quadrado. De Ligt plays it forward. Hernandez. Hernandez drives it forward. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's Quadrado. They get a throw in. Danilo. Quadrado. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Gnabry did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Looking for space out wide. He won't reach that. And there's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but Robert still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline.